Well, hello and welcome to Jonathan from the Heart. I'm Jonathan Asley of JonathanAsley.com, and I'm so excited to be shooting this topic for you today, uh, or excuse me, this video for today, our topic. This gets a guy to flirt with you. Gets this guy to flirt with you. Do you want him flirting with you? All right, and he'll think it's his idea. Really quickly, uh, these are my uh, weekend videos I shoot out on my balcony, very similar to the videos I shoot in my private group called Midlife Love Mastery, which is a uh, membership group for only $20 a month where you can have direct access to me on a regular basis through a private Facebook group and a once a month webinar where it's a live Q&A call, call where you get to ask me questions directly. So check out the link below to Midlife Love Mastery, my VIP group, and it's seven bucks to start for the first few weeks. All right, let's talk about how to get a guy to flirt with you. So, ladies, one thing I've noticed as women age, as men age and women age, is that flirting skills seem to have diminished dramatically. I, I believe that what happens as we age, when we're in our 20s and 30s, we're beginners, we have the beginner's mind. In other words, we're open and receptive and, and life experience hasn't kind of brought us down. And one of the things that's bring us, brought us down is our ability to actually flirt with someone. Now, I know you're watching other videos from feminine energy coaches that tell you all you have to do is be in your warm energy and everything is gonna be great because if you lean back, he's gonna come after you and claim you. But let's get real about men in their 40s, 50s, and 60s. This is where I, I'm, this is my demographic, I, midlife, is that men in their 40s, 50s, and 60s, just like you, are riddled with, with emotional baggage in their lives. And I'm not, listen, when I say you, I'm just saying it's a humanity thing to have emotional baggage in our lives. And that's what makes why I often say that most men are good guys. They're just bad daters. They're not, they're not intending to hurt anyone, but because we as humans want companionship, connection, and sex, we oftentimes are myopic. We're myopic, in other words, we're single focused in our own needs, and, and we've lost that skill to really connect with another human being. We, both men and women alike, we've lost the skill to get to know someone. In fact, the dating process is almost riddled with, we spend, this is where the dating process is, is just spending it all on text messaging. And in text messaging was designed to just say, hey, I'm running late, or text, text messaging was giving information. Actually, texting, though, can be fantastic for flirting. And I'm going to talk about a flirting skill in a few minutes that I want to invite you to adopt. Because the reality is, is if we don't create that hook very early on, and I know you've been so conditioned that men are supposed to hook you instead of the other way around because men are chivalrous and they have to claim you and that's what they're supposed to do because men are hunters and they just go after what they want. Well, yeah, it's true. We do hunt. We oftentimes just hunt for sex. We're not necessarily hunting for, I want to be in a relationship. I want to be in a relationship. That's why I'm so tired of this masculine and feminine rhetoric that is so misskewed in understanding how men really operate. And ladies, you know this, you've witnessed this time and time again, men who act slow or passive or ghost or disappear because we haven't really hooked each other. And that's what I wanna talk about today. And it starts from the inside, hooking yourself. This is why I'm such a big proponent of my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? Hook, get, flirt with yourself first. Start with the inner, inner world first. And if you've done the work, great. I totally applaud you because doing the inner work, you see even this little heart right here, it's doing the inner work to prepare you for a juicy, delicious relationship because that's what I want you to have in your life is a juicy, delicious relationship. Mm. My mug says, love yourself. I love this. This was a gift from a client. Thank you so much. All right, so we're gonna talk about flirting. And I have a simple acronym you can use. And you can use this from the very first communication with a guy. And the acronym is called NICE. N-I-C-E. <laughs> and I, I didn't even close it. N-I-C-E. Okay, NICE. Now, the N, the N stands for name. 
using a person's name. When we hear our name, we actually perk up a little bit. Hey, Jonathan, how's it going? When you ladies post, hey, Jonathan, I loved your video or something, just saying my name, when we say someone's name, when I say your name, Kimberly, Catherine, Jennifer, um, Susie, Stacy, Tammy, all these names, it perks us up. And so when we hear our name, and this is great when you're communicating with a guy on the first, uh, it, just the first communication. So if you're using a dating app like Bumble, where women make the initiative, the initiative, and by the way, the man's name is listed there. Start by using his name, okay? Name. The second thing, this is the I. Be inquisitive, be curious, ask really good questions. I'm so tired of this. You know, how's it going? How was your day? How was your weekend? Oh, I hope your weekend was good, blah, blah, blah. We're, we're asking such benign questions. How about asking more, you know, more interpersonal questions? So when you see someone's profile, when you're communicating with them, ask them a deeper question. You know, I recently was communicating with a woman who's a therapist and I, you know, I, 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 one of my first questions was what inspired you to want to do that? What inspired you to want to become a therapist? What inspired you to do this? I love the question, what inspired you? What inspired you to be on this dating app? Is it because you're just looking for a hookup or do you want a real relationship? Ask a deeper question, be inquisitive. Okay, the C, the C, or is it this way? C stands for compliment. Ladies, men get so few compliments in a day and look at, we're not, listen, a lot of guys have a hard time receiving a compliment, but we genuinely do like compliments. So when you compliment us on our looks, when you compliment us on what we do, when you say, you know, literally saying, hey, you're doing a good job, that's a compliment. When you give us compliments, we're gonna wanna like get more of that because once we get validated one thing, we want more and more and more. So I invite you in your communication to compliment a guy. And the E, and this is so critically important for flirting, is to be enthusiastic, be enthusiastic. Have enthusiasm, use, use enthusiastic emojis when you're communicating with someone. Now look, many of you struggling with this and I get it. This is why I'm so, I want you to break free to a whole new way of looking at relationships, not the traditional expectation based way of relationships, but a way that actually is empowered. This is why I highly recommend the book by Brene Brown, Daring Greatly, Daring Greatly. This is a great book to dig into your empowered side of you and take charge of your relationship destiny instead of expecting men to be at this, you know, expecting men to be the ones that are the leaders. I, I'm more of a, a proponent of a two lane street type of relationship and it starts with the very first communication. And here's the thing, if you lead by example, men are gonna follow. Men are, men are, I did a video recently, men are like dogs, okay? They just need to be trained. I know you don't like it, I know you fight that, but here's the thing, a simple little bit of training by leading by example goes a long way to getting what you want. Isn't that what ultimately doesn't, what's in that matters most is getting what you want? So yeah, it might feel like you have to do all the work, but it's not really. Here's the thing, it's just a little bit of work in the beginning because the reality is, is we're all riddled with stuff. And when we can break through the, our stuff and actually become really connected with another person, most men tend to nest into the relationship and they want to be in fully committed relationships, ultimately. We just don't go dancing around. We're not hunting for it per se. But that's ultimately what we want. We want to feel safe with a partner just like you want to feel safe with a partner. By the way, those, those seagulls barking is because food is out there. All right, I told you these are my weekend videos. All right, is this sinking in? I hope it's sinking in. Please post a comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on NICE, N-I-C-E, name, inquisitive, compliment, and enthusiasm. And I promise you, or I can't make it as a promise, but I'm gonna say there's a high probability if you do it, he'll do it, and he'll actually think it's his idea. All right, I hope this is sinking in. All right, once again, if you find value in my content, check out the link to a free discovery call with me. Check out the link to my group, uh, Midlife Love Mastery. Uh, check out my recommended books. Check out my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? I'm so proud of it. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm going to wrap up this video as I always do. First off, give myself a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug of self-love. I'm going to reach into the camera and give you a hug of love if that's okay. I'm going to ask you to turn to someone or a pet or even a teddy bear and give it a hug of love because hugs are a great source of love and we can all use more love in our lives. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.